The stage is set and the glittering prize awaits one of these two teams. But which one in the 2022 FIFA World Cup final? Don't go anywhere. We'll have all the action for you live next. Hello and welcome to a contest of colossal meaning. We find ourselves here just to the north of the Doha city centre, ahead of the 2022 World Cup final. My name is Derek Ray and with me to provide expert analysis is Stuart Robson. And as you can imagine on this occasion, the atmosphere is building up nicely. It's Germany versus Argentina. Well, what an occasion for these two sets of players. A chance to be world champions. Let's hope the game matches the atmosphere. It should be an absolute cracker. I can't wait for this to start. Here's the starting lineup for Germany. Manuel Neuer stands between the posts. Antonio Rudiger plays alongside Niklas Zule at the back. Serge Gnabry starts with Leroy Zane in the wide areas. And the responsibility of leading the line today goes to Thomas Müller. The Argentina first team. Well, it's a defensive lineup, that's for sure. But their wing backs and at least one of their midfield players will need to break forward when they regain possession just to give them a threat going forward. And the contest begins. Splendid tackle and a throw in coming up. Gundogan. Well, the fact of the matter is, it should never be a surprise to see Germany in a World Cup final. But equally true is the fact that so many doubted Germany ahead of this World Cup. They have been terrific, they're here on merit, and now, Stuart, they have designs on lifting the trophy for a fifth time. Yeah, you're absolutely right. We weren't quite sure at the start of the tournament what we were going to get from Germany, but the manager has put the tactics right, he's picked the right players. And a big moment because the referee has pointed to the spot. Penalty coming up. And on the back of that decision, now it's a caution. Well, it's a tight call, but in the end, I think he's got it right. A penalty and a yellow card. <laughs> this to open the scoring here. And he finds the net. No difficulties encountered. Well, here it is again. The keeper tries to read the penalty, but in the end, he just makes no effort whatsoever. That's a strange decision. Goal. And the action underway again. The onus very much on Germany to find a response now. Couldn't find a teammate. Throw in here. A 
an awful lot of green space to run into. Well, just look at his movement. He knows exactly how to find space. And it's also a tidy finish. That's a nice goal. Goal. So underway once more. 2-0 the lead here. Jamal Musiala he read the situation defensively and did his job Alvarez could be a chance to break here opportunity it is surely and the keeper nowhere to be found not that he's complaining Well, let's take another look. Yeah, he won't get an easier finish than that. The defending was all over the place, though. Goal. This is looking rather comfortable for them. 3-0. Good work to win it back high up the pitch. Well, tremendous block. Serge Gnabry this looks promising Muller Argentina doing well to regain possession Messi looking for the through ball and not cleared away properly and having already received a yellow card he's walking a very fine line and off he must go after that second yellow card, Stuart. Well, he really has let his teammates down. He had to be more sensible there. Oh, he's gone for goal! But in truth, it could have been more challenging for the goalkeeper. A wilting under the pressure, and now they try to go forward. Oh, yes! A goal! Exactly what they were looking for, and he's come up with it. Well, just look how exposed the keeper is. He's got absolutely no chance there, but they do take it well, you have to say. Goal. And this is turning into something of a rout. 4-0. Number 22, Lotaro Martinez. Musiala. Return to Goretzka. Well, the goalkeeper in charge of the situation. <laughs> Joshua Kimmich with the corner. That's a routine take. Well, not troubling the goalkeeper at all there. And from that sort of distance, you should be troubling the goalkeeper. Technique let him down there. Oh, goalkeeper blunder. And he's gone for power. So close to finding the net. Well, those stats don't surprise me. Argentina have certainly had more of the ball. And as a result, have dominated the game. Some of their passing movements have been a joy to watch. And I don't think anything's going to change that. Musiala, well not the greatest pass, easily intercepted, really good attacking play, he's in here, oh he's hit the woodwork, can you believe it? Well he beats the keeper with power, but really that should be hitting the back of the net. Good tackle. 
Might really be able to trouble them here. Well, the keeper committed himself. He's driven in the corner. And they deal with the threat this time. Counter-attacking very much an option. All hands on deck. And this time it's in! Fabulous goal! And just look at the celebrations! Well, let's look at this again, Derek, because the transition when the ball changes hands is so quick. And in the 1v1, Gnabry makes no mistake. He never really looked like missing, did he? What a goal that is. Too much defending going on in the grand scheme of things. 4-1. Not a great pass. Müller. And a throw in for Argentina. Martinez well he was keen to give that one a go sadly lacking a bit of accuracy well it's all been something of a struggle for Thomas Müller I can't really believe I'm uttering those words Stuart well Derek he has to impose himself on this game he's been far too quiet so far if they are to get back into this he needs to make something happen and start getting some shots away he's in behind and a long way out here to say an incredible first half performance that scoreline tells you all you need to know Martinez. Martinez and with that the attack fizzles out a real opening now And he gobbles up the second chance. Disappointment for the keeper. No wonder he's asking questions of his defence. Well, when you see this again, I think the goalkeeper's very unlucky. He makes a good initial save, but the ball comes off of him, rebounds straight to an attacker, and the finish is excellent. Argentina will get the throw in. Well, three minutes of stoppage time, that's what the officials have said. Dangerous looking through ball. Pressing high to win the ball. Has eyes for goal. Well, hit with power and almost the right precision. Well, they are committed to making the substitution here. Leon Goretzka it's with Gundogan so the whistle then we're up the halfway stage in this match So back underway and an intriguing second half in prospect. A switch of play now. Takes the shot and fine goalkeeping.
And over comes the corner. It hasn't come to very much. An important interception. Otamendi. Might be a chance here. Oh, goodness me. He made it far too easy for the keeper, didn't he? Leroy Zane. And Kai Havertz. Now with Gunduan. The timing was perfect. It had to be. Could be a chance to break here. Well, they seem to be onto something positive, but it faded away. Goretzka. And fine work by Argentina to recover possession. Martinez. Oh, that's a really good run. Oh, a save of the highest order. Well, he got his angles absolutely right. What a good save that is. Joshua Kimmich with the corner. And gobbled up with ease by the keeper. Marcos Acuna. Counter-attacking very much an option. Do they have the... Go what a save! So a personnel change then. Who can he pick out? Well, they couldn't take advantage of the opportunity. Out of play for an Argentina throw. Well, real difficulty keeping the ball. Martinez. Priority was to hang on to the ball, which he did. Gundogan. Goretzka has it now. Now there to intercept. Martinez. And that pass could be troublesome. today what a performance well as you can see the defending is really poor but he won't mind it's a simple finish for him Going forward well here. Magnificent challenge to win it back. Fulkrug. And the referee spotted the foul but has played advantage. Oh, great attacking play. Chance here. Oh, wonderful goalkeeping. Well, you have to say, from that sort of distance, that's a wonderful save. Well, he decided to let the play flow. But now he's going to issue a yellow card. Yeah, I think that's good refereeing. He tried to play the advantage. Now that's fine goalkeeping. Real concentration. Well smuggled behind for another corner. Well, that header was never going to be problematic for the goalkeeper. Alvarez. Well, not the pass he had in mind. Oh, good-looking run. Tremendously strong in the tackle. And he's gone into an illegal position, unfortunately. 15 minutes left for play.
Well, here's the replay, and it's a really inviting ball played into the box, begging players to attack it. And then the perfect finish from Lautaro. He really does hit this with power. That's an excellent goal. Gundogan. Here's Fulkrug. Oh, he's through here. And how about that for a save? Just 10 minutes remaining here. The defender put in the challenge and it might be a red card. And the referee didn't have much choice. A sending off it is. Yeah, no complaints there. That's a sending off all day long. Well, not one, Stuart, that's going to live long in the memory. Well, I think the manager might disagree, Derek. Any way you cut it, it's a wasted opportunity. I just missed that little bit of attacking spark. Goalkeeper's ball. Mario Goetze. And he's made headway. And the keeper has denied him. Well, I've got to say, Derek, he was always in control of that situation. Brilliant stuff. The corner from Kimmich. Still not clear. Threat over for now, it seems. Breaking at pace. And credit is due for that good piece of defending. And he's through here. And he could scarcely have had an easier finish. Well, if there were any lingering doubts about the outcome, surely they now have been removed. Gundogan. Throw in then for Germany. So two minutes to be added on at the end. Good, sir. Well, the threat was very real. Marvellous defending. And there goes the final whistle. For the third time in history, Argentina have won the World Cup. And I have to say, Derek, they've been the best team in the tournament. There's no doubt about that. Argentina, world champions! They did it in 1978 and 1986. They've done it again in 2022, Stuart. Well, this is the pinnacle of any footballer's career and what a night it's been for these players and the coach and staff and, of course, the fans. Could be a chance to break here. Surely. And the keeper nowhere to be found. Not that he's complaining. A wilting under the pressure. And now they try to go forward. Oh yes! A goal! Exactly what they were looking for. And he's come up with it.
And now he does it. A real opening now. And he gobbles up the second chance. Disappointment for the keeper. No one. And that pass could be troublesome. And he's only gone and made it a hat-trick. Absolutely unplayable today. What a performance.